Welcome back to Jersey Matters. Donald Trump and Chris Christie, they are the new dynamic duo. They're side by side all the time, both in the state of New Jersey and around the country. So how are they doing in this state? What are their poll numbers? We have the person to ask right here. Ashley Koning is the assistant director of the Eagleton Institute of Politics at Rutgers University. Thank you so much for being here once again. So how are they doing? Let's start with Donald Trump. Donald Trump is popular among Republicans in New Jersey. Overall is another story. When we look at New Jersey voters overall, Donald Trump is in the 30s, which coincidentally is right where Governor Christie is right now. So they're, they're about the same. They're about the same both with voters overall. They're also the same within Republicans in the Garden State. So both are kind of having solid support among Republicans. Around five or six out of ten Republicans in the state are favorable of both, both Governor Christie and Donald Trump. Their support overlaps a lot. Now, I know you, you're, you're doing some polling on the primary right, right now, so you can't talk about that. You've done some, you've done some research in the past on it, and, he, and Donald Trump has done very well. He's been soaring away. Ever since he announced his candidacy over the summer, Donald Trump has only increased in popularity among Republicans in the state. Now he's about at 38% say that that is his, their first choice uh, for their Republican nominee. And the second choice, we did this poll back in February, was Marco Rubio at about 11%. So he has a wide, wide lead over the rest of the field, no matter who the second, third, fourth choices are. But you have to be excited now, because maybe for the first time, boy, since I can remember, the New Jersey primary is going to mean something. Yeah, we're actually polling about something meaningful leading up to June. So we actually, you know, have a, have a slot in the game, New Jersey, this time. Um, let's talk about the gas tax. Sure. Uh, the gas tax uh, from our visits down to Trenton is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Not very popular. No, not popular at all. And it hasn't been popular for years now. We've been polling this extensively in the past two years. We've been polling this even decades beforehand. The gas tax, any type of gas tax increase has never been popular with New Jerseyans. So this is something they're going to have to bite the bullet on. They know that the roads are bad. They know that not enough is being spent on transportation repairs and maintenance, but they just don't want another tax increase. How unpopular is it? What, what are the numbers? We're, we're looking at about 56% who oppose an actual gas tax increase but of course this fluctuates we've asked it in the past in terms of in need of roads and road repair and improvements but also this is what it'll take away from your pocket which of course when you ask about it in terms of how much money will come out of your own wallet that of course spikes up opposition tremendously nobody wants to hear about how much money is actually going to be taken away from a gas tax increase i interviewed steve sweeney it's interesting you brought him up and i brought up the gas tax and how unpopular it is and you must get this all the time what he said is oh the pollsters are asking the wrong question well, you know, we asked the question a bunch of different ways, and, and I think all of us can agree on that the devil's in the details. What are we asking? How are we asking it? And like I said, you know, even when we talk to them, even when we talk to voters about, you know, uh, need of improvements, how do you rate the roads? It still doesn't egg them on to full support of a gas tax. It doesn't induce tremendously greater support, maybe a little bit, but not a whole lot, just because it's New Jersey, and New Jerseyans don't want yet another tax increase. So when you get your numbers on whether these last 10 days have hurt Donald Trump, you're going to come back and let us know about Anytime, it. Anytime, of course. Thank you so much. Thanks, Larry. Great to see you again. Ashley Koning, Assistant Director of Eagleton Institute of Politics at Rutgers University. And that wraps up Jersey Matters for this week. I'm Larry Menti. Stick around now for another thing.